All right, Micah. This morning, we were looking through your inquiry notebook, and we were talking about the question that you had at the beginning of our unit of inquiry, how the world works. Can you read for me? What was your question? Why is the moon shining at night? Inquiry-based learning is about triggering students' curiosity. It goes deeper than just delivering information to students, which is what we saw in classrooms of the past. I think, especially in younger students um, in lower elementary, it's very easy to use inquiry-based learning. Here at ASBN, we use uh, ARA standards or Common Core standards to kind of guide the instruction, what we're going to be learning about, what we're going to be teaching about. But as far as inquiry-based learning, once we choose uh, a topic or a standard that we're going to be learning about, a lot of times we then move forward with, well, our learning outcomes. What do we want our students to be able to do at the end of this unit? What do we want them to know at the end of this unit? What do we want them to understand? And once we start teaching and exploring a unit, that's where really when inquiry-based learning starts because students start asking more questions. We also know through evidence-based research uh, that by engaging students in their interests and their passions, we get students that are more motivated and we also do a lot of work with teaching and modeling how to ask great questions which is a huge part of that inquiry-based oh, learning. But what happens when my moon moves over here? Can Vietnam see the whole circle? One of the misconceptions, I guess, with inquiry-based learning is that it is what they would call a laissez-faire approach, which is that students just do whatever they like. Um, that is not what good inquiry looks like. Good inquiry is very structured. Our units always start with team planning, where we, again, ask uh, each other what are the outcomes we want our students to have. Um, once we're ready to actually begin the unit in the classroom, we like to always, always start the unit with a big provocation. With the provocations and triggering that interest and developing that curiosity, you need to look at a range of different media. So it could be listening to a podcast, it could be having a speaker come in and talk to the students, it might be having what we call an incursion, which is where we have uh, a group or an organisation that might come in and do an activity with the students. Uh, it could also be, as I said, a video clip, it could be an activity that the teacher has developed that we know is going to spark curiosity, that it's going to provoke them to ask questions and want to know more. We showed students videos, which can be a wonderful learning tool, videos from YouTube about a sunrise and a sunset, lots of time-lapse videos. Once we watch um, some of those videos, Again, we go back to our original question. What did you notice? What did you see in this video? Um, what did it make you think of? Did you, have you ever seen like something like that before? Um, and starts to build the connections to what they already know and builds on their prior knowledge. So this morning we modeled the Earth rotating and as Vietnam rotated away from the sun, I asked the students, well, Vietnam is over here now, what time of day is it? And they were able to recognize that it was night because the sun is not shining on Vietnam. And this morning, we used a flashlight and we used an earth, a globe, to figure out why is the moon shiny at night? Do you remember, did you figure out the answer? Yes. Yeah, what was it? Why is the moon shiny at night? Because the sun shining on the moon. Inquiry-based learning is quite challenging for teachers because you often have 25 individuals or 20 to 25 individual learning programs happening in the one classroom and the teacher is supporting every one of those to make sure that they're being challenged, um, to be modeling for that point of need as well, and then to be able to challenge that student to go further with their thinking and look at that more critical, deeper level thinking.